welcome back to Fable 3. Right, hopefully we'll do a little bit more than we did last week. I know I've got a few things to do. Um, I did have a little a notification saying we got enough money to buy a house. I'm going to see if I can open this. No. Which means I could go in here. Go in here. I might start with the dweller camp. How much have I got? Yeah, I have got enough. Any of these? Home is where the heart is, as they say. It we are going to make some money from that. Hey! <laughs> Let's go and find Walter at the ta uh, tavern. That is a good point. A very good point. Right. <laughs> you were successful then, bloody marvellous. You'll be glad to know I have some information on the mercenaries Sadiq. They're led by a man called Seiko. He used to be a soldier, but always had more in common with bandits and cutthroats than the military. These men are holed up in a small fortress in the mountains, so... It won't be easy to get in. But I have a plan. Of course you do. Come with me. I buy stuff. Will do. So come here and uh, I'll buy your stuff, okay? Best shop in Brightwall. You'd be mad to go anywhere. One of the mercenaries. A cold blooded killer. His name's Clarence, but everybody calls him Jimmy. He was drinking in the pub all day and generally making life unpleasant for everyone. It wasn't hard to get him completely pickled. These young thugs. Bloody lightweight if you ask me. Anyway, take his clothes and you'll have a free pass into their camp. Just try not to think about what those stains might be. All right. I just can't keep stocked up on some of these items. Hmm. You're not likely to convince anyone without a bit of extra effort. Even these idiots will notice if you don't have his beard or tattoos. I'm sure yep. you can get hold of what you need around town. In the meantime, I'll find out who to talk to about getting food to the dwellers. They might not have much to spare here, but they're kind people. They'll just need a little convincing. Anyway, good luck dealing with Saker and his mercenaries. It'll be your first taste of real battle. But I know you'll do just fine. All right. Let's see. We're low on stock, so I'll give you a bit extra for certain items. You're looking good. All right. I like that top you're wearing. It really suits Spend you. Spend your way to happiness in my shop. Oh, just what I wanted. If you can find better prices anywhere, then I shan't be surprised if you shop there instead. Oh, we've got some money that will help out a lot. Oh, another dig spot. Where? More money. Right. Oh, sorry. Not enough gold for that. Sorry, if you can't pay for it, you can't have it. All right. So we got to get a job. Maybe I shouldn't have bought that house. Oh, 
caravan. Yeah, anyway. Oh. Which one? Right, it's just one moment to go for. Alright, let's see how good I am at this. And so will the rest of this area. Lovely work. Oh. What else we got? Ooh, that crust is divine. Brilliant. Keep them coming. Oh, made a mistake. Part of the decade. Only time will tell. Pie mastery. Right there. Alright. Not a lot of gold to get. That crust is divine. Right there. Oh, let's see if I can do better than last time. You won't find lower price. That's some tasty work. Only way to get people to spend these days. Ooh, that crust is divine. Oh, that's a good pie. Might have that for pudding tonight. Oh. You can roll with the best of them. That'll fetch a good price. You won't find anything better in all this price. Quality pie making that. You appear to have earned enough gold to purchase the rather repulsive items you require to complete your mercenary disguise. A most impressive feat for a member of the royal family. Of course, ah. should you have acquired a taste for labor, you may continue working for as long as you will. Alright, let's go and grab... Where did you get your hair done? These... Bits and pieces. Yeah, it may be expensive, but it's worth every ounce of gold. Let's see what we can do for you. You're I'm going to go into the dressing room now. You acquired a new suit. I would say it's the best mercenary uniform that money can buy, which is a bit ironic, really. You do look the image of a mercenary. It may have something to do with the fact that you're dressed as well. That beard should be a real boon if you're seeking a job in the technology sector. My, All right. That is an intricate. All right. Thing. Feel free to change the color of your clothes or hair using the dye. That is, after all, what they're for.
go clean slate. There are clothes quite close at hand, should you wish to wear any. No, don't do that. Not that I would presume to tell you your business. I would merely request that your business does not include scaring me like that. All right. Any other done. We had a couple of rough patches, but at the moment. Oh, we got here. I sell bright walls best. You don't have enough gold, I'm afraid. No, I know that. Alright. Off we go. Hello there. It's your favourite customer again. Let's go and take out these mercenaries. We don't know that. I didn't know that. Miss Peak Valley. Right, that didn't take too long. Walls and simple now. Right, where are we digging to? Straight in the middle. A thousand gold. Not bad. Okay, that might come in useful. I might come in useful too. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, wow. Is that what I think it is? Uh huh. Alright. Off we go. Alright. 
in we go. We are in the mercenary camp now. Sometimes wish I'd join me dad with a family business. Well, I never saw myself as a sugar salesman. And it wasn't really feasible after I killed him and all. Uh, Alright, just a minute. Jimmy, over here, mate. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Alright. Hey, Jimmy, over here. Jimmy, show stilts here that thing you do. You know, the thing. What thing? Some of the best times I've had. Anyway, in you go then, mate. If you give up and beg for mercy, we might just let you lick. Jimmy, is that really you? You look different somehow. Your eyes always that good. Nice. Jimmy's got periwinkle eyes like a beautiful summer morning sky. That's not him! It's not Jimmy! That's it! Put the sticker down! Get out of the line of fire, you fool! Alright, first little bit of... I didn't think I would, but I did. Kill the Jimmy impersonator! So, bugger, ain't ya? Come here, let me make Thank you. 
Oh, trick spot. Bah. It just kind of feels like I'm covering up my tracks now. <laughs> oh, okay. Bah. There's a key. And that means I've got... I thought it shows up. It didn't show up. Okay. Let's see what we got in this before we go in. I think we're going to need slow mode potions like by the seam of it. Right.
Oh, down again. That's bad. To his knees. Stop! You've won. This battle is yours. Kill me or let me live. It's your choice. And my men will honor it. We may be nothing but mercenaries, but we have our codes, like any other soldiers. We'll leave the dwellers be, no matter what you do. That is a warrior's promise. Alright, we're gonna spare him. Thank you. I won't forget this. Let the stranger go! Oh. Head into the road to rule. See what else we can unlock. I'll to unlock what we've got already first, but... Let's see what's coming next. You have taken another step on the road to rule. Sparing Saker has won over the support of his followers. Word is already spreading of your compassion and your strength. Ah, right. let's see what we got. I oh, can't go for any of that anyway. So we'll get these and then. Make sure none of these are 20. No, they're all 40. So, there we go. All the jobs are upgraded and all that. We can do a few more things. We'll get them opened up at sooner than later. But as soon as we got the Occasions, your first victory in battle. I'm no expert on personal combat, but I would say Sir Walter is still waiting for you in the Brightwall Tavern. He seems to have become oh. there are new garments available. Yeah, um, we're gonna go with that. I look at you in that and I'm markedly less terrified than I was just moments ago. See, I don't mind the bald head. There we go. I think that suits it. Yeah, I like that. Oh! And if we go on here, we can use this to get to... It's hard to believe that just a few days ago I was rousing you from a comfortable bed. It would seem that you have completed two of the tasks that have been set for you. 
If you return to Brighton, you will find Sir Walter has some news on how to fulfill the last requirement. I hope Thank you for your custom. That's a fine item. Happy to be of service. Always happy to buy your unwanted items. We're low on stock, so I'll give you a bit extra for certain items. Happy to be of service. Yeah. I find it lends the brew a rather piquant flavor. Ah, here he is. We were just talking about you. Indeed. We have made a toast to your stupendous feat in ridding Miss Peak of Saker and his men. They have been a source of great distress for some time. Nobody will be more pleased than Sabine. His dwellers might find some peace in him. Of course, nobody has suffered more than they. I've been telling Samuel here about the terrible situation they're in. He thinks he may be able to help. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps. Uh, I mean, of course. The thing is, as I was just explaining to Sir Walter, Brightwall has no overabundance of resources itself. The King's levies are rather steep and we face shortages more often in this country. But, but were you to improve things around Brightwall, the people would be most grateful. And when people are grateful, they're also charitable. I'm sure Sorry. they would find it in their hearts to send aid to those poor people. There you have it. The way I see it. You will need all the followers you can get if you're going to lead a successful rebellion. What better time to start? I heartily agree with Sir Walter. Pardon me for overhearing. As it happens, I've learned of a promising method for amassing followers. If you'll return to the sanctuary at your earliest convenience, I can show you what I mean. Okay. And it looks like we've had some gifts. The excellent way to gain followers is by helping villagers in need. Take a clip. You can now see the villagers in need. You can also see how many followers you must amass to impress Samuel and the people of Brightwall. Select a villager to help. By doing so, you will gain the respect and loyalty of others in the region. Right, we're going to... By completing quests for those in need, you will prove your abilities and demonstrate your potential as a leader. All right. Well, we're going back anyway. I want I have to. No doubt that the people of Brightwall will end up following you. Merely show them what you are capable of, and they cannot fail to become your supporters. Oh. That appears to be all of the gifts. All right, let's have a look. You've a new type of launcher available. Rifles are slower to fire than pistols, but can be used to engage targets at much greater range. Let's have a look at this. Alright, what we what we like on the what we like this one anyway. I don't have anything, no. Yeah, why not? We're equipping that now. Oh, no, I wanted to also put on... That is a gold clip. A device which allows a hero to channel magical energies. The armory is at your disposal. And I know I could probably uh, get more for my money and miss pick. I might, I might actually, yeah. 
So we go into first of all repair that. We'll buy in that and repair in it. And buy in that. Nope. And rent out. And repair. And we'll rent that one out. And repair. to and can we afford to repair no that's fine we've got a few now you know for a town with a famous academy We're taking the quest. Contrary to what most people think, chickens are very, very crafty. They won't fall for any of that. Come here, chicky, chicky. I've got some lovely treats for you. Too smart. You have to defeat them psychologically. Now, they won't remain one concentrated force. They'll have redeployed into groups of three or so to maximize their tactical advantage. When you find one of these squads, flap your wings and such, and they should follow you back here. But don't let them try to negotiate with you. You do not want those little buggers inside your head. Believe me. All right, off we go. Let's see if we can find these. Ooh. Where are we going? Oh, I didn't mean to. Alright, off we go. Before we, come on then, show me where, where the dig spot is. Where's the dig spot? You know, I was wondering when you would make an appearance. As you could probably hear, my cat's made an appearance. Like she always does about this time. You're doing great. We can't afford any mistakes now, or the entire operation will be compromised. All right, one last little bit. And that is. Over here, where I'm here, up here, we're at.
They're very musical chickens, aren't they? to let them out again. All right. All right. We'll work this out. I hope I haven't made a terrible mistake. If I killed them, I would just make them marvelous. Oh. oh, I just don't know about this. It's what's best, Bernard. It's the right thing to do. Let's change her up. Don't really want to be wa walking around as a chicken. Yeah. Oh, we've got a dog one, haven't we, as well? Um, Rather a splendid combination. You could say that again. Alright. Remember that interacting with the citizens of Albion is generally a reliable way to gain followers. Wow. All right, we gained some followers just by doing that. But I got. One of, I always remember a mission up here, which is now, it being one of my favourites. I'm not really seeing him. You, good sir, you who live in, you will find the legendary lost slave. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, well, we do this. I'm going to. Yeah. Turn back now, Mortal oh. One. Oh, we go. Okay. Flying books. From this cursed holy death and insanity await you. I reckon I'm going over to this glowing book. into a book. That's 
one way of being stuck in a book. Ah, boop, boop, boop. This is good. You're not getting my lost plate, you hear? It's rubbish. Worse than rubbish. I mean, what was I thinking mixing tragedy and comedy? I must have been off my rocker. It would seem, my dear fellow, you have been apprehended by the ghost of Philip Morley. That makes us both his captives. I am Ransom Locke. If the name seems familiar, it is because I was once a detective of some renown. And yet, here I am, ready to live out the rest of my days, trapped in a book. As far as I can deduce, we are currently in a scene from one of Morley's greatest romantic plays, the near tragedy of Oliver and Ethel. I believe if we are to escape, we must act out the scene. But performing is not one of my talents. If I am correct, putting on this costume should set things in motion. Okay. Oh! Oh, I don't want to look nice. My life, my son, if thou wouldst but give me one sign, one gesture that would speak of your affections, then might I think this grey existence worth it. Oh, yes, a classic moment in the play. You are Ethel, the beautiful young daughter of a dung merchant. Show Oliver that you love him, and we may be able to leave this scene. Okay. Let the heavens and the seas, the toads and the eels sing the song in my heart, for she doth love me, and all is well. We shall meet again in the morrow, my little ferret, and elope into the sunset to live out our days in wondrous joy. A magnificent rendition. Truly, I applaud you. Hmm. I see you are gifted with remarkable literary cunning, but can you really comprehend the depths of my work? That we shall see. Right. Ah, yes. This is undoubtedly a scene from one of Morley's earlier, funnier plays, Bloodbath at the Royal Court. And this must be your costume. The role of the fool is one filled with tragic depth. It will require a masterful performance. Okay. Insolence is this! Out of my throne, you impertinent buffoon! Stand before your king, and do your jester's duty! Tis a troublesome time for this court, and my crown grows heavy! So make me laugh, or I shall have your head! The, s the music in the background is from the first game. Just realized that one. <laughs> oh, stop. It's too funny. I believe I'm in the right mood now to meet with those foreign delegates. I think I shall only behead half of them. Yes. I have never seen a more convincing fool. There is hope for us yet. Mm, you handle my royal dramas as well as you handle my romances. But will your versatility extend to the more subtle domains of theatre? I oh dear. Unless I'm mistaken, this is a scene from Morley's notoriously violent historical epic, Titus the Mutilator, Part 2. Which would mean this is the gladiatorial arena from Act 5, where Titus is finally slaughtered by savage warriors seeking revenge. A favorite scene of mine as a child, I must admit. And here is Titus's famous costume. I had some pajamas that looked just like it. 
Put it on and you will take on the greatest role of your life. Okay. Titus, thy pox-membered body shall pay for thy monstrous villainy. My son lies dead because of you. Now shall revenge be mine. Cold is your corpse and all the more flavorsome for it. Do try to make your demise convincing. Why are they not moving towards me? Okay, good. All my men dead. My vengeance denied. My world undone. I can't stand to live one second more. A tremendous performance. That's just the ending I wanted to see when I was a young boy attending the theatre every weekend. I wonder what scene will follow now. Oh, what scene could possibly follow such a masterful rendition of my work? And the way you improvised some of those roles, you brought new life to my words. I stand in awe. You have earned the prize no mortal has ever been honoured with before. My missing play. I entrust it to you, for I know that you will do it justice. I call it the Ham Sandwich. Metaphorical title. A tragedy, a, a tragic comedy. The title refers to the comedy and tragedy. Tragedy. Which are the two pieces of bread holding the meat of the matter together? Okay. have retrieved our aged investigator. Happy day! Yes, have you Lumber. perchance found? Oh, the joy in my bosom knows no bounds! Thank you a million times! Thank you! Ha! His head bosom! It's already working! Comedy and tragedy will at last join hands! Ah! Bear witness to the tragic futility that is man. Oh, how it doth sear my senses to see paradise and yet to be barred. That reminds me of a great joke. A guard, a monk and a chicken walk into a bar. Unfortunately, the bartender had had a mild heart attack that morning, so none of them get served. And yet what purpose doth heartache serve with the infinite dark blanket that is death? <laughs> Fall softly upon our still beating. That reminds me of another one. 
A corpse walks into a bar and says, Can I have a lemonade? Certainly, replies the bartender. I've never seen a stiff drink. And so endeth our happy, sad play, which reminds us we are made of nothing but clay. There's time only for our fool to say... Great big giant bosoms! What the hell was that? Biggest load of old tosh I ever saw. It didn't even make sense. Worst play ever. Well done. You have gathered quite an impressive following in Brightwall. This should be more than enough to convince this little hamlet to send aid to the dwellers. I believe Samuel awaits you at the town gate. I'm to beginning express to that understand very why Philip Morley never published this particular piece of work in his lifetime. Right. Before we do that, I'm going on to the road to rule because I think we can. Oh, look. Our little gathering's getting bigger. Oh, we'll go with sword to see if that will help. Nice handle on it now. I used to like the fact that you could see your friends stats as you're waiting on a loading screen. Oh, we've got all sorts we have. Gotcha. Hey. Yeah. Weapons are a thing of the past. The modern heap. Esteemed citizens of Brightwall, today we demonstrate the generous nature of our fair town. For too long have our mountain neighbors suffered in silence. And now we extend a helping hand. But this effort would not have been possible without the courage and determination of one man. The son of the old hero king. From this day, we shall know you as the hero of Bright War. Before you leave, we ask of you one favor. As we pledge ourselves to you, so we hope you will pledge to return Bright War to its former glory and reopen the academy which your father founded. I will. Very, very good, very good. I expected nothing less from you. These volunteers shall carry the supplies to the dweller camp. They may have them with our blessing. I hope you will return one day, not just as our hero, but as our king. Now I'll make my way. Oh, before I go that way, I might go pop in here and sell off some of the stuff I found. I hope I can make a profit on that. Come back if you have anything else to sell. What do? I head to that dwellers actually. Upon that wall, you'll find the contracts representing the promises that you've... 
mage. Oh, what a wonderful thing for those poor people in the mountains. They... Oh, yeah. Oh well, I never thought you'd actually get it, tell you the truth. Border. We've been blessed, my friends. We have made an alliance that has already brought us life. One day, it will bring us much more. We require but one more offering before we fight at your side. Border. Promise to restore these mountains to their full glory and to protect our right to dwell in them and promise you will bring nothing but the fiercest justice upon Logan's head. I promise. Then may we be carried into the castle by the dark storms of fury. We'll have to wait a little longer for that. It's still just us against a whole army. We need to recruit more people. Mm, I was afraid you'd come over all logical and sensible. Well, you have brought us a feast, and we are free to hunt again. We'll just keep on eating and drinking till you're good and ready. Right, Border? Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't be happier. Alright, that's two contracts done. Oh. Now I've got to do that, but... I wanted to have a look around because I swear there was a key or something kept in here. Oh, I won't find out yet. All right. <coughs> All right, ready to rule again. We've made it to the next stage, haven't we? You have made an important ally today. The revolution cannot hope to succeed without fighters such as Sabine and his people on your side. You have the beginnings of an army now. But these two before I go into the next lot. I didn't see what I was getting, I knew that the Oh it's just upright. Alright. So what we got here? Alright, there is that is a l all on its own. So what we uh, what is it? Ice storm. Ah, oh, okay. How much was that? Forty. Right, better start on this. What was that? Sorry. Jo Joker expressions. Die pack two. Ah, oh, leave them for a minute. Yeah, I'll leave it for a minute. Right. I couldn't be prouder of what you've accomplished here, but there is still much for us to do. And I know just where to find our next allies. I'll meet you at the station in Mystic when you're ready. The revolution is just getting started. Alright. 
I placed the contract representing your. First of all, I want to make sure that was. Oh, we can. How much is that to. Yeah. I think that'll be it now, won't it? Can we buy up here now? Yes. You look like someone who's seen you quite a lot. Hmm. All right. So we just follow this out, I think, and then we'll come back in and or whatever. We'll get out, and that should be that done. And as it's saving, I might call it a day. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call it a day. What that undig whatever is here, and then. But I think we've done quite well today. Not as long as last time. It'll be probably about this every time now. Um, yeah, let me know now in the comments what you thought, what I've done right, what I've done wrong, what I could have done better, or what, whatever it is, just let me know. I think you can name the dog, just try and think of a different name than last time, we had Anarchy last time, let's think of something else. Um, yeah, and if you haven't already, please leave a like, and subscribe if you can, it helps out a lot. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.